Hi everyone, this is Monica Valentine and this is Entertaining LA. On this episode, we're going to be checking out the cool electronics that's going to be coming soon in our consumer markets. We'll also be checking out the latest activities and festivities that's going to be going on in the Los Angeles County in the months of September and October 2014. It seems that there's going to be three phones that's going to be duking it out in the cell phone market that's coming soon, which includes the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, Apple's iPhone 6, and the iPhone 6 Plus. Before I go into the iPhones, let me give you a quick glimpse of the Samsung phone. Like I said, the Galaxy Note 4 was unrevealed this past summer, and it has a lot of new features, which includes the Galaxy Note 4. This phone has a lot of new features from their previous phone, which includes a cell phone upgrade for a more stabilized, clearer frame for people who like to take selfies, upload it to their social media page, or people who still like to upload, upload pictures, print them, and put them in their photo albums. There will also be a 2.7 processor speed, 64 gigabyte memory for people who like to play their games, and also download apps, so on and so forth. The, new, the two new phones from Apple, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus, has people eager to get the phone for weeks. But I have received new information that the phone is coming out this Friday. So, for people who likes, who wants this phone, definitely get in line. There's going to be a lot of people trying to get this phone. As you see on the news, as you, or if you're going through, towards the Apple Store, there's going to be a lot of people, who knows, maybe for blocks. But for people who's going to be pre-ordering the phone, I have sad news for you. Apple revealed that they're not going to accept no more pre-orders. So, but they did say that expect a lot of phones in their stores. So, all is not lost. Who has been asking, what is the difference between the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus? Here is the difference. The difference is the iPhone 6 Plus will be having a bigger screen than the actual iPhone 6. If for people who likes to watch their movies, play their games, that that phone is definitely for you. The price range for that phone will be starting at $299, while the actual regular Apple iPhone 6 will be at $199. So the choice is yours if you want a bigger screen or you just want the Apple iPhone itself because it's been buzzing all over the social media page and the news and people who have been asking for that phone or trying to get their hands on that phone for weeks. So if you like more information about the Apple iPhone 6, you, like again, you can check out my Twitter page, www.twitter.com slash MRV is here for more information about these, these three phones. That's going to be the top three phones in our consumer market coming soon. Samsung has unrevealed a new gadget, which is called a VR Gear, which stands for Virtual Reality Gear. What is it? It's a headset for people to check out the virtual world. And they recommend that you are sitting down using it and not going outside using it. You can hurt yourself. So it's best if you be sitting down or if you can walk around the house using it. It, it has its own touchpad controllers for people who like to play games or check out movies. The VR gear has its own touchpad, back button, and volume control keys. It also contains a small computer controller so people can use a 3D0F tracking program. You can also purchase downloadable apps at the Oculus Store that is run by Samsung to play games, upload pictures, videos, and much more. The price tag for this device will be around $200 and $400. And they did say it's coming out, but it's going to take a while. They said 2015, early 2016 for this device to come out. So if you like more information about it, you can go to my Twitter page, www.twitter.com slash MRV is here for more information about this device and other devices that's going to be coming soon. I would like to give a big shout out to McLean Swordage, which is located in London, England, in the United Kingdom. This place was named after the late American actor Steve McQueen and is also known as the hottest nightclub in London, England for its VIP section, bottle service, and its hottest nightlife. So if you like more information about it or if you plan on going towards the London, England area, you can go to their website at McQueen 
shoreditch.co.uk for more information about their club. Let's check out the events that's going to be going on in the Los Angeles County for September and October 2014. Heading on over to the Alpine Village, they will have their annual Oktoberfest, which is going to be every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from September 25th, 2014 through October 26th, 2014. They will have beer, food, music, and much more. If you'd like more information about this event, you can go to their website at alpineoctoberfest.com. Rev up your engines, there's going to be a whole lot of race car driving going on in the city of San Pedro for they're going to be having their annual Red Bull Rallycross for three days on September 19th through the 21st, 2014. There's going to be race car driving and a lot of events as well as special guests. Tickets are on sale now. If you'd like more information, you can click the description if you're watching it on YouTube or you can go to my Twitter page. Over in Hollywood, they will have their annual SSMF which stands for Sunset Strip Music Fest 2014. For two days, on September 20th through the 21st, 2014, the Sunset Strip will be blocked off for their annual music festival. And there's going to be hundreds of thousands of people attending the event. Performances by Jane's Addiction, Empire of the Sun, DJ Quick, Riff Rap, and many more will be performing in front of a live, huge stage on the Sunset Strip. If you like more information and information about the ticket prices, you can go to the website at ssmf.com for more information about this event. First and foremost, I would like to say thank you for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Have a good day.